Okay, so again, kind of a common trick to graph polar equations is to turn them back into rectangular form. So that's what we're going to do on our equation, r equals 2 cosine theta minus 2 sine theta. So again, um, if only we had r cosine theta and r sine theta, I could replace those with x and y. Well, to make that appear, we can multiply the right side by r. But hey, that means we also have to multiply the left side by r. So we'll have r squared on the left, and then we'll have 2r cosine theta minus 2r sine theta. But now we can start replacing. So r squared is just going to be x squared plus y squared. r cosine theta, that's the same thing as x. r sine theta is the same thing as y. So um, now we've got it into rectangular coordinates. So uh, I still don't look at that and say, oh, this is, you know, I know exactly what the graph of that is. But the way that we can do that is uh, we can subtract the 2x over to the left. We can add the 2y to the left. That'll leave us with 0 on the right. And now to make this something hopefully a little more familiar, we can even complete the square. So we'll have x squared minus 2x y squared plus 2y. I'm just going to leave myself a little, a little room there. So again, we take one half of the coefficient on the x term. So we'll take one half of negative 2, which is negative 1. If we take negative 1 and square it, we get positive 1. So that's what I'm going to stick inside the first set of parentheses. If we do the same thing for the second set, we take one half of the number in front of y, which is 2. And then we take that number and we square it. So again, we'll get another plus 1. If you imagine undoing uh, the parentheses on the left, there would be a plus 1 and a plus 1 that hadn't been there previously. So really, we've added 2 to the left side, which means we have to add 2 to the right side as well. And now we can write these as perfect squares. We would have x squared minus 2x plus 1, x squared minus 2x plus 1, we can rewrite that simply as x minus 1 quantity squared plus, it looks like we'll have y plus 1 quantity squared equals um, 2. And this is now just going to be a circle. The center will be at positive 1, comma, negative 1. And it's going to have a radius of, remember we have to take the square root of the number, so it would have a radius of square root of 2. So actually, we could even go back and graph this original equation. Um, you know, just looking at that, you know, I wouldn't look at that and say, oh, okay, clearly that's a circle centered at 1, negative 1 with radius uh, of square root of 2. Maybe you would. Um, I wouldn't, but, you know, so this is kind of the common trick. Turn it back into uh, x, y coordinates, and then hopefully, hopefully it'll be something that you recognize.